take this opportunity to show you around a ISO 14644 class 7 and class 8 mixed flow clean room. Now there is some laminar flow within this clean room which is coming directly out of the HEPA filter which is to be positioned directly above a production area once the machinery is in place. What you'll notice is we've turned the lighting down to get some shadows on the walls and we're using a nice crisp white smoke at a high density. With all these things uh, taken into consideration you can actually get some very good visualizations of the mixing of the air, the laminar flow and the mixed flow differential pressures across the boundaries. Now as you're only going to be doing this in, on one occasion or two occasions to prove your, uh, your mixed flow or laminar flow, uh, we take the opportunity at the commissioning stage while the technicians are still able to get into the clean room without gowning as the smoke is likely to contaminate uh, the entire facility. If you don't uh, uh, get a take within one or two shots, if it's a mixed flow area, the smoke will disseminate across the clean room and you won't be able to get the shot very well. The idea there is that you wait for the recovery of the room and once the room's recovered, you then take the shot. It's also very important to use a smoke with a large enough particle size to get caught in the primary filters as not to affect the secondary or HEPA filters with the density of the smoke in the, in the filter itself. The density of the smoke is very important as you can see here with a high airflow across a uh, boundary it's somewhat harder to see the flow of uh, air although it's still easy to identify because